A cordial greeting. Today is Wednesday, October 22, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this afternoon's video, I will provide an update on the forecast for Tropical Storm Melissa, which continues battling wind shear and dry air and remains a weak tropical storm with maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. In fact, in the visible satellite animation, we can see that the storm structure looks disorganized, and once again, the circulation center is exposed to the west of the area where rain and wind are concentrated. And as long as this system remains weak, it will probably continue traveling farther west, increasing the likelihood that it will eventually move over an area where it can strengthen into a powerful Category 4 or Category 5 hurricane, and the risk for Jamaica and eastern Cuba continues to increase, while it decreases for Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti. The disorganization of Tropical Storm Melissa is evident in the latest Hurricane Hunter aircraft mission, where they found a barometric pressure of 1,004 millibars and tropical storm force winds remaining displaced to the right of the circulation. In addition, you can see that it maintains that west-to-west-southwest motion, so anticipate new changes in track farther into the Western Caribbean region. And now the specialized track models have a much farther westward projection compared to this morning. In fact, the current forecast from the National Hurricane Center is to the right of the model consensus, so in approximately half an hour, that is, at 5 p.m. it is very likely that we will see a new westward adjusted track. Also, you can see that it is very likely the cyclone will pass just south of Jamaica and move very slowly through the area where it could remain for five to six days, and in the long term, it will begin to turn toward the north-northeast, threatening to directly impact Jamaica, central, and eastern Cuba. The scenario in which it could pass closer to or over Haiti continues to diminish, since the tropical cyclone has not been able to strengthen during the afternoon. And as I mentioned in the morning video, our concern is that the farther west the circulation center moves, the greater the chances it has of moving over a region where the ocean heat content is extremely high. And this, combined with wind shear that will be decreasing significantly in about 5 to 8 days, could create almost perfect conditions for rapid intensification. And that is precisely why the specialized intensity models, basically all of them, already show a Category 3 or Category 4 hurricane in about 5 days when it is located near Jamaica. And we are now beginning to see some models showing a Category 5 hurricane, potentially one of the strongest on record in recent years in the Atlantic, so it is definitely a very concerning situation, particularly for residents of Jamaica and Cuba. In addition, analyzing data from the CHIPS model projection, we can see that the probabilities of rapid intensification during the next three days far exceed what is normal, and in fact, the model shows up to a 25% probability that Tropical Storm Melissa will increase its maximum sustained winds by 120 km per hour in just three days. And in the next image, we can see some projections from specialized intensity models. One of them shows a minimum barometric pressure of 903 MB in about five days when it is located south of Jamaica. And incredibly, we have another model that continues projecting a barometric pressure below 890 MB, which, as I mentioned this morning, if it happens, would make it one of the most intense hurricanes in Atlantic history. We also have others showing a Category 4 hurricane in about five days and the WRF model, with a track farther east, showing a Category 3 or 4 hurricane moving into eastern Cuba. Because of this, in the 11 a.m. advisory, the National Hurricane Center now forecasts that we will have a Category 3 hurricane in approximately five days when it is just south of Jamaica. But again, in a few minutes, it is likely we will see another westward track adjustment possibly projecting a Category 4 hurricane in about five days. And since the formation of Tropical Storm Melissa, we have seen that in each forecast, the track has been adjusted farther west. So the trends are clear that it will eventually move into the waters of the Western Caribbean, and the scenario in which it moves over the Dominican Republic and Haiti continues to lose support among models. This trend can also be seen in the ensemble members of the American model, where just a few days ago most had a track toward the northeast, but in this afternoon's runs, more and more members show movement toward the Western Caribbean, passing very close to or over Jamaica and Central and Eastern Cuba. In fact, we also have some showing a projection where it could approach Nicaragua and Honduras. So we encourage residents of that region to stay alert to any deviation in track. This trend is repeated in the ensemble members of the European model, which mostly maintain that westward track during the next five days and eventually represent a threat to Jamaica, Cuba, the Bahamas, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. And we see the same in the ensemble members of the Google AI model, which continues to show that track toward the south of Jamaica and then moving over the island and across sectors of eastern Cuba. And in fact, note that almost all members show a major hurricane developing during the coming week, represented in this animation by the pink color. And the combination of ensemble members shows that the highest probabilities of direct impact remain for Jamaica and eastern Cuba, 
and also for some of the islands of the central and southern Bahamas. However, note that there is still considerable spread among the different scenarios, so in Nicaragua, Honduras, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic, it is important to remain attentive to any deviation in track. Also note that the ensemble members of the different models have a tendency to shift farther west, which increases the probability that it will eventually affect Jamaica and Cuba. Let's analyze some of the projections of the global models. Let's start with the American model, which insists that the system could eventually move over Haiti or the Dominican Republic. In the midday projection, it shows the system moving very slowly or almost stationary during the weekend over Hispaniola, leaving excessive rainfall accumulations and tropical storm conditions across the Dominican Republic and Haiti. And by early next week, some tropical storm force winds could affect Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Now, it is important to mention that the American model's projection continues to be adjusted, as it has not yet captured the correct intensity and track of tropical storm Melissa. However, if this scenario were to occur, which is very unlikely at the moment, the model project's rainfall accumulations exceeding 1,500 mm over the next seven days across the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and accumulations between 5 to 7 inches over Puerto Rico. That is why it is important to continue monitoring the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Now, let's look at other, more probable scenarios. One of them, shown by the German model, has Tropical Storm Melissa strengthening into a Category 3 or 4 hurricane and moving over eastern Jamaica between Sunday and Monday, and then moving over eastern Cuba between Tuesday and Wednesday. In addition, note that in the long term, it affects sectors of the Turks and Caicos Islands and the southern Bahamas. Under this scenario, the highest rainfall accumulations would occur over eastern Jamaica with more than 500 mm, and for eastern and southern Dominican Republic and Haiti between 200 and 300 mm, while for the southern Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and eastern Cuba, accumulations would exceed 300 mm. ND finally, let's look at the projection from the European model, which has had the best forecast for this cyclone. The model insists that it should move slowly south of Jamaica until next Tuesday and eventually turn north-northeast, potentially affecting Jamaica as a Category 5 hurricane with wind gusts exceeding 300 km per hour, which, if it happens, would be catastrophic for Jamaica and also for sectors of eastern Cuba, the southern Bahamas, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. And this scenario would not only cause devastation from the wind, the model also projects excessive rainfall accumulations capable of causing significant flooding with between 500 and 700 mm over Jamaica during the next seven days and between 150 and 200 mm over eastern Cuba. And in fact, for our followers in the Dominican Republic and Haiti, note that even if it maintains that track away from Hispaniola, some rainy days are still anticipated with accumulations between 200 and 300 mm during the next seven days. So, in summary, and as we have discussed over the past few days, the chances that this cyclone will eventually strengthen into a Category 4 or 5 hurricane continue to increase, and unfortunately, this is a difficult situation for Jamaica and eastern Cuba, where they could experience the impact of a powerful hurricane by early next week. My recommendation is that residents of Jamaica begin preparations immediately, while those in eastern Cuba, the southern Bahamas, and the Turks and Caicos Islands review their emergency plans. In addition, for the Dominican Republic and Haiti, do not let your guard down. Since over the next five to seven days, rain will likely continue, causing some flooding and landslides. And although it will be difficult for this cyclone to eventually approach Central America, I still invite residents of northern Nicaragua and eastern Honduras to stay alert to any additional westward deviation. Here at Hurricane Info, I will continue monitoring this cyclone to keep you informed. So before I go, and so you don't miss this content, I invite you to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you'll get notifications when I record new videos. Well, that's all for now. I'll keep you updated with new videos. See you later.